We have seen the public feuds Vanessa Bryant has had to go through from former Los Angeles Sheriff Alex Villanueva. In the lawsuit, Bryant alleges deputies Joey Cruz, Rafael Mejia, Michael Russell, and Raul Versalles shared photos of the helicopter crash. Plus his subordinates. One deputy in particular took between 25 and 100 photos of the crash scene on his personal cell phone. She dealt with officers showing off husband Kobe, daughter Gigi, and seven other deceased bodies for clout after the helicopter crash in January 2020. Her daughter Natalia sought a restraint training order against a stalker who visited her on USC's campus through multiple trials and public shaming by members of LA's law enforcement. There is sadly more. Meet Molly Carter, seen here, who is president of Kobe Inc. We learned of her alleged racist behavior because of a recent lawsuit. Innovation is the key to everything. Five years ago, Kobe Bryant had a vision to tackle one of sports' biggest powerhouses, that being Gatorade, to force competition. He partnered with Body Armor, who also contracted Trey Young and Alex Morgan to sell their product, along with Donovan Mitchell. Then this happened. So Coke bought a, a stake in 2018. You went through the bottling system. Since we've been in the system, uh, we've gone from 200 million to 450 million to 700 million and Mitchell will be 1.1 billion in revenue. Mike Rapoli, co-founder and chairman of The Drink, spoke last year of their success. In 2021, Coke bought full control, valuing the brand at over $8 billion. I wanted to do something epic. I wanted to do something really big. And the category now, 10 years later, is 8.4 billion this year. And I think by 2030, it's gonna be a $15 billion category. We've actually helped Pepsi Gatorade because we've added some real competition and uh, they're growing, we're growing. They came out with Gatorade Zero and, you know, it's real good Red Sox Yankee rivalry right now. Rapoli would credit Bryant in a press release and the value paid off that he saw in it. When Coca-Cola gained full control, Kobe's initial investment of $6 million was turned into $400 million. However, that's where Molly Carter comes back into play. Per TMZ in 2019, six months before Kobe was killed in the tragic helicopter crash, the president of Kobe Inc., Carter, claimed Kobe promised her 2% of his cut. Kobe called BS on her, saying he never made such a promise. Carter would sue in 2019, claiming she did not receive what was promised to her. Upon Kobe's tragic passing, Vanessa Bryant would pick up where Kobe left off, and would even counter sue Molly Carter. Through litigation, we would learn how Carter felt about the Bryants. Per Vanessa, she says while Molly was working for the company, she was permitted to travel to an NBA All-Star game, and on the jet, she stated there were a lot of fancy-ass black people, close quote, on the plane. Vanessa also claimed Carter referred to Kobe as an a-hole, a douche nugget, a dickwad. She says Molly called her the effing devil the B word, and a psycho, even mocking Vanessa's newborn as having Botox lips. After being exposed, Carter would proceed to lose in court. Complex as more, the case was sent to an arbitrator who ruled in Vanessa Bryant's lawsuit and counterclaim, which led to her getting $1.5 million in lawyer's fees. Vanessa is not done either, as she and Kobe's legal team filed documents asking an Orange County Superior Court judge to ratify the decision. As for the tactics put out by Carter, one person would say, whoopsie. Carter's previous work now goes to the dumps. She had several leadership positions for PepsiCo's Gatorade brand, where she successfully launched global campaigns under the names of Made in New York, Derek Jeter's Retirement, and Sweat It to Get It. Both of these were received immensely positively by the community and earned Gatorade a significant boost in sales. 